Angie Duncan here, broker in charge of the Elijah Moore Group, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to choose a design theme for your home. Number one, think about your hobbies and interests and list them by rank. If you're able to incorporate design themes based off of your hobbies and interests, you're more likely to enjoy those long term. Browse different design themes on the web and then make notes of the ones that stand out to you. You don't have to stick to just one theme throughout your entire house. For example, I enjoy shabby chic furnishings, but I also like that modern touch in my kitchen, so I have a combination of both throughout my entire house. Choose subtlety over over in the beginning. For example, if you're looking for a nautical or a coastal theme, it may be wise to choose to incorporate that through textiles as opposed to hanging a large picture of a sailboat on the wall. For one, it's a lot cheaper, and for two, if you get sick of it, it's not as big of an investment. You want to dip your toes in the water before you fully jump in. Lastly, incorporate your heirlooms or collectibles into the theme and design of your home. For example, I tend to stick to a more shabby chic, modern farmhouse style for my home, but I've incorporated candlesticks that my husband's grandfather made a long time ago that are definitely more rustic, but they work and we've blended them in. And the best part about it is that they have sentimental value to us, which means way more. Bottom line is that you have to incorporate your own unique self when you're designing your home, regardless of the theme you choose. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned because we'll have more design themes in the coming weeks.